I saw a question the other day about how to create slotted connections between uh, two components. One would be a locked in connection and one would be another one that would allow it to transition within that slot. And if you're an old school inventor user, you'd probably do this with constraints uh, and maybe turn on your contact solver, but that's kind of difficult and um, kind of unnecessary. You can easily do this with a joint rather than with a constraint. So joints tend to behave a little more real world. The first one is gonna just lock in to the center of the slot. So I'm gonna pick my bolt. And then when I hover over this face, you can see all these different dots show up. And if I wanna to get to that center dot, you see how it disappears when I go to try to pick it? If you hold down your control while this face is highlighted, I can move over to any one of the dot. So if you want to go to the top of the slot, the bottom of the slot, in this case, I want this to be centered. I pick it. My bolt's going to move to there. I'm going to hit OK. And now I have this bolt locked in place at the center of that slot. So that's a simple, you don't want it to move, you don't want it to transition. Uh, the other thing is, let's say I do want this to transition. The first thing you want to do is you want to do a quick measure on that slot, you want to make sure you understand how big that slot is, uh, and you can divide those numbers uh, in half. So that's roughly going to be point like one two five somewhere uh, in that neighborhood, just cutting that number uh, in half. So now what I can do is I can do that exact same step. So let's go to our assemble and let's go to our joints, and I'm going to pick that bolt again. Notice the alignment. This is really important whenever you're choosing uh, the alignment on these next ones. So you see that alignment is pointing to the right. That means when I want this to change to a slider, you're going to see it goes right to left. And that's obviously not what I want to do. I can change the alignment of my second selection and just make it align with a, a face that's traveling up and down. So now you can see whenever I animate that, it's going to travel up and down. Now all I need to do is add my limits. And my start limit is going to be 0.125. And my end limit is going to be negative 0.125. Hit apply. Close this. And now I have a perfectly transitioning sliding bolt in that slot. So hope that helps. Catch you guys later. Bye.